Hey everybody. <clears throat> hey, I really needed to get out here and share uh, a few things. As we know, we are need to be focused on Jesus, right? And definitely, everything that is happening is written. Now, a lot of the things maybe y'all don't understand, and um, believe me, I'm doing the research for y'all and sharing this for a reason. Um, because it's not about black lives, it's not about Camp Breeze, all right? I, I'm sorry, you know, you have to know the truth because the truth sets you free. This is all a false flag, y'all. Um, my goodness. <laughs> George Floyd is on some island somewhere, as he's a paid porn actor. Um, yesterday, I put up a link on my Facebook page that shows where, like I said, um, you know, all you got to do is fill it out. And George Soros will send you thousands of dollars a month. And how many times, it even asks, how many times can you riot? That was the word. <laughs> All right. Um, how many times can you do this? So, you know, we got people out there making a living off of doing this. But brothers and sisters, everything done in darkness will be brought into the light. So I shared a post <clears throat> in the community. All right. And if you go and see it, you'll see that yesterday... They showed a, a stack of bricks delivered to Frisco, Texas, <laughs> right, right near me, okay, uh, for rioting. Well, they didn't get to riot because somebody called the police and reported it, and I put this in the, in the community. And if you follow the trail, um, well, this goes back to George Soros, and he is the one that owns Acme brick company or whatever it is in Fort Worth, Texas, that is doing the delivering. And then we've seen videos of what are supposed to be looking like officers, right? Which we don't know for a fact that they are, dropping them off as well, um, to turn against our police. And I don't I don't believe that they're all bad, y'all. Um, and yes, we hear all this other stuff, right? But distractions make you lose traction. I'll focus on Jesus, but I want to share. All right. Now, I'm sitting here, and, well, you all know that I have been down for a couple weeks now with a fractured hip, right? And But I'm watching, and I'm sitting here questioning everything. I'm seeing all this stuff happen, and it's not about black lives, and it's not about I can't breathe. It's not about any of that. It's all about Jesus, and it's about the book being fulfilled as it is written that this would happen. If you if you go back to David Jeremiah and or um, Henry Groover, my goodness, it was all prophesied years ago uh, by certain men of God that these things would happen right before the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Not at the end of tribulation, but when we call, are called up hither to meet him in the clouds. Where we will be forevermore with our Lord. So, let me share. So, I noticed a week ago, or not even a week ago actually, that the lady down the street had a for sale sign in front of her house. And I was like, whoa. Uh, my daughter came by. Now, I have been, I promise y'all, I have been screaming. I have been praying. I have been interceding. I have been not begging. I have just been taking authority over the spirits that are on my children and commanding them to leave in the name of Jesus and claiming them back to the Lord as we have the right to do this, right? Um, all authority has been given to us to cast out demons in Jesus' name. So, as I've been doing this, all right, let me also share that, you know, the Lord told me over four years ago that Jennifer here would be taking care of me until he came. Now, the last couple of visits I've had with my youngest and my grandson, uh, 
wasn't really good, but would you believe it if I got a text this morning saying that uh, her and my grandson want to come by tonight and spend some time with me and um, bring me some dinner and play some games? And I'm thinking, all I could do is cry, y'all. Uh, I know that was the Lord, as I've been sitting here all day yesterday and the day before, taking authority and interceding for them as their mother. And we have that right as their mother. And Jesus also intercedes for us and the Holy Spirit, right? So he knows their hearts. And I know how I brought up my girls. And I had a video a while back that the Lord would said that he was going to bring the prodigal children home. So this is truly amazing that my daughter texts that. Now, my youngest, right? So I really pray that tonight goes a whole lot better <laughs> and that these things are really true because all I've been doing is praising the Lord and thanking him uh, for what's happening, all right? So then last night, um, my oldest came by uh, to do a couple things and I said, I asked her, I said, is Joe selling her house? And she said, yes, mom, this is Cray. Well, she didn't say Cray. That's me. <laughs> and she said, my goodness, she has not even had it up for a week. And she said she had over 32 people come by and see the house. And it's not the best looking house ever in this whole neighborhood either. And it's right on a corner of a busy street. So, um, but then again, for what's happening... All right, I'm going to share my my mind and share the truth. So, please, pay attention. <laughs> like the Cardinals fly by, right? All right, so then she said to me, Mom, like I said, over 32 people have come by and put an offer up with just within a few days it was sold. And it was sold for six times the asking price. Okay, so, all right, so rationalizing, we kind of do sometimes, and I'm thinking, and I'm like, whoa, okay, knowing that Antifa is behind all this, if you think, if you can remember, President Obama brought in the Muslims, ISIS, ISIS and Antifa back during his presidential term, um, they're all been sitting there waiting, all right? So now we're seeing them out on the streets and provoking what is going on. And they're seeing that we're part of it, right? We're seeing this because, like I said, everything done in darkness will be brought into the light as we're seeing so-called police departments and whatever um, acting in not so cool ways. So they're, not all cops are bad, y'all. And I should say police. I'm sorry. They're not all bad. Especially in this area. They're not. But yet, you know, we're seeing this stuff happening. And we're seeing men in uniform dropping these bricks off. Well, those, those aren't real. Okay? They're not the real police. Um, and or they're being mind controlled or whatever. Alright? So I'm putting this out there. Um... But do we find it a coincidence that we have the strawberry moon coming up, <laughs> which I, I put in my video yesterday on the meaning of it. And wow, that was a real time live moment for me when I read about the love part of it and um, how it's associated with Venus. <laughs> and it was like, I was like blown away when I was, this was even, I was reading this. And it was like, oh my goodness, because Sister Holly had a dream probably about six months ago where she said that I was looking and pointing at Venus and saying, look, Venus, Jesus is coming. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, I've always associated Venus with Jesus. So also, let me get past the fact that, you know, I got saved. In 1979, and I thought that there was only one way to be saved. <laughs> I know that there's only one way to be saved, and that's through Jesus to get to the Father, right? We already know that, and he's interceding for us daily. Um, 
my goodness, and all of a sudden I see all this YouTube chaos about all kinds of different things that I never even knew about. I have to Google them and find out what the heck kind of salvation issue is this and who's promoting it and what is this all about. Um, I didn't know. I really didn't. And then the videos that have been going around on YouTube and, you know, the enemy always tries to get us when we're at our weakest, emotionally and or physically. Um, I know myself and, and a few other sisters that actually came out and put videos out about who's been attacking them and what's going on. And, and it was the same trend. It was when they were at their lowest. All right, knock it off. Whatever you do, if you're following anybody like that, get away from it. And I'm not telling you what to do. This is a suggestion, okay? Um, please. <laughs> um, and or, if you go to watch a video and you're hearing this, click off. Have nothing to do with it. Avoid it. Totally avoid it. That's scriptural, you all. This is not me, Debbie, saying this. This is the word of God. All of this is coming to pass right before our very eyes. It has to. The book is being fulfilled. How awesome is this? We know that we're about to go home any moment. Even the little eight-year-old boy's video, remember from a couple years ago? And yesterday, I mean, this is amazing how the Lord works. And yesterday, I, I saw in my notifications that somebody had said, Wow, I'm so glad I found this. And then I said, okay, great. <laughs> what did you find? You know, And I go and I look, and it's the little boy's vision. So I posted that in the community as that's never left my mind. And I do believe that he did have this. And I do believe that time is off as we know it. We've already proven that. And Jesus don't need a feast day or any day or whatever day to come. Um, he's God. He'll come when he's ready on his timing. All right. So then yesterday's video I put up, and I'm going to put the link up in the description box as well. Because like I said, that was real time for me. <laughs> as I saw this, it was like, wow, this is crazy. Because the three times that we're going to be having these eclipses, Right? That's the reason confirmation. And it's no coincidence that June 5th is the lunar eclipse. June 14th is President Trump's birthday. And June 21st is the solar eclipse. So these three are things are happening this month. And then I think there's another one in July. I put the links in the description box. That was real time blowing my mind. Uh, again, thank you, Jesus. All right, so let's go back to the houses here. So my daughter said to me last night, she said, you know what, Mom? She said, this would be great. She said, putting both houses up on the market, meaning here and her girlfriends, and getting six times the amount. And she said, we, she was not discluding me. This was... The Lord, as I already shared, um, but he's also working as I'm taking this opportunity to plant seeds like Antifa. I don't know who Antifa is. Okay, well, here's a link. Uh, George Soros, uh, I'm showing her that all of this is happening. Um, oh. I worked here part time. Plus, I'm a part owner of... Sorry, but I'm not going to stop because I've had so many disruptions trying to get this out. It's for a reason. All right, so she was not excluding me. And she said, wow, she's going to put both houses up for sale. And we are going to get out of here. All I could do last night was cry. I really could. I'm thinking, Lord, you are so good. I was sitting there just interceding for them. And, you know, we have authority in the name of Jesus to bind those spirits, because it's a spirit that's over them, and cast them off in Jesus' name and bind them 
as in Jude 1, 6. As Jesus is also under cheating and the Holy Spirit. So, I thought that that was pretty interesting. So, if you do not know, all right, then again, that pile of bricks that was found in Frisco, followed the money trail back to a company in Fort Worth, who was owned by George Soros, and I put the link in the community, and go look in the comments, because it also mentions Bill Gates, all right? So, we, we already know that this is all happening. We already know who's, who's trying to to do okay let's just put it that way who's trying to do what right um but god's not going to allow anything to happen until the holy spirit is taken out of the way and the holy spirit is holding things back from the four corners of this earth and the holy spirit is in us right so until we are snatched out of the way the evil plans can't take place but yet they are showing us as the word of god also says that they have to expose these things um, before they happen, but they're happening so fast. Operation Warp Speed Ahead, <laughs> whatever it is, right? It is to that there is called an Operation Warp Speed Ahead, by the way. And we know about Space Force. We know about all these lies, right? And, you know, trying not to ingest too much of my daughter. I didn't want to come out and say, well, we never landed on the moon either, right? <laughs> that would have been a little bit too wild, but I'm waking her up to what's happening. And, who's who, and sending her links to who George Soros is and who Bill Gates is and what they all are all about because she really didn't know. So this is wake-up time, y'all, and it, God is allowing us to wake people up. And the Holy Spirit is going before us, and he's the one that's doing it. And if you see that opportunity that the Holy Spirit just gave you, oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. If, if the Lord brings you to it, it'll bring you through it. But if the Holy Spirit opens that door and allows that to happen, use it. Because it's used for His glory, waking up people as the age of grace is about to end. And once that door is closed, it's closed, right? And we don't want anybody left behind. I know the Lord does and He wants not one lost. He will go out to that one lost sheep and bring them home. And love. They know us by our love. And the YouTube madness has just been a distraction. And it's hurt people. Uh, people have been ready to give up uh, their channels because of the hurt. And please, avoid them. Right? This is biblical. But I want to share right here for proof. And... My goodness, I can try to put the George Show us in there. Uh, if you want to go sign up and make a lot of money, no, don't do it. Don't be a part of it. Do not be a part of this whatsoever. Eyes on Jesus, author and the finisher of our faith. Focus on him. You know, um, I had to have a breakthrough in my life as I got saved in, at, in 1979. And to be able to call the Father Daddy was such an amazing day for me as my earthly father as I knew him at the time that I was growing up just wasn't very nice but yet he changed when he got Jesus so my grandmother who was a narcissistic lady and emotionally controlling I got to lead her to the Lord right before she passed and then my dad um, we got to work out our differences and I got to bring him to the Lord right before he passed. And then my mom, who was pretty much non-existent in my life, um, was dropped off at my doorstep and I was told that I had to take care of her. And I did for three months. There's that number three again, confirmation that I got an opportunity to bring her to the Lord and to work these things out. And I had to forgive them. Oh my goodness, that was so hard when I saw this happening and uh, breaking through and, and totally forgiving them because they only did what they knew and the best that they could do. As, you know, as little kids, we really didn't even know what they're going through, right? We can 
think about it or rationalize it. You can't justify it. But it was the best they knew. So I know that all things exposed will be brought into the light. And I have seen this yesterday or last night, I think it was. But yet, I want you to hear right here because, you know, I remember during the uh, pandemic, pandemic, they, well, shut down all the small businesses, right? Because they were, well, not important enough. And a lot of people were hurting financially as there's 400,000 people who do not have jobs. Um, and then again, let me add, I forgot, you know, when Sister Gigi heard that 210 America, I think she said over nine years ago, the Lord told her not to forget it. I do believe that she heard that. And with the solar eclipse happening on June 21st, that was the first thing I thought of. So know that it's not about black lives. It's not about anything. It's all about fulfilling the book. And use wisdom. Click off these channels. Don't be a part of the, the discord. As this is one of the sins, uh, the seven sins that God really hates. Um, it's causing discord amongst the brethren. And that's what's happening. You know the trolls are out there. I'm still getting them. I'm, I'm getting attacked so heavy right now. But God is faithful. My goodness that I'm able uh, to see. Thank you, Jesus. He showed me the Pink Panther spotlight, right? And I have been waking up in the most horrific pain the past couple days. So please continue to pray for me. I'm, I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm working out and doing my physical therapy, but a lot of pain in the morning. So please listen to what this lady has to say. I, I hit the end of the video here, so I'm going to have to go back. I'm sorry for the disruption, but I'm not going to try this again. I got things to do. It takes a while to do them when you're in this position. <laughs> okay, so here, let's go. Just listen. You said black lives matter. Why don't you choke me? I'm black. Look what you did to my store. Look. Look what you did to my school. Tell them, sister. That's right, because I got their bags. These are my shoes right here. Good man. You done. Good man. Look. Black Lives Matter. We've been here all night cleaning up. All night cleaning. And you got black people standing right here with them. Tell me Black Lives Matter. You lied. You wanted to loot on the store. You needed money. Get a job like I do. Stop stealing. This is the neighborhood. We trying to build it up and you tearing it down. It's free reign. There's nobody at the checkout. But this nigga just pulled a gun out on oh, not just me, but five other black females. And y'all sitting up here really pretending like y'all did this shit over black lives. A black man who looks like me, who should be out there protecting me, just pulled a gun out on me and five other sisters. So y'all tell me, keep lying to yourself, talking about this was about black lives. Just pulled a gun out on me because I'm out here trying to clean up. To clean up what's mine. Y'all so pro-black that y'all anti-black. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about that, right? That's what I worry about. When the police came here, they ain't pull out no gun on me. But my brother did. Just pulled out a gun on us. Because we're trying to stop people from coming in the parking lot. We're trying to stop people from coming in the parking lot and creating more guns. And this man just pulled a gun out on me and five other females so now i'm in my car and i'm finna go home because at this end of the day i feel hopeless and there's nothing that i can do i'm picking up garbage and here goes some old black folks throwing some shit on the ground coming in the store taking stuff and not and not helping not asking who needs something you pulled the gun out on me that's what you did you stupid and you pulled the gun out and y'all out here worried about these police officers 
everybody is against us, including us. They went straight to Office Max, the dollar store, and every store over here that I go to. I have nowhere to go now. I have no way to get there because the buses aren't running. These people did this for no reason. It's not going to bring George back here. George is in a better place than we are. Last, last night, I'm going to be honest, I wish I was where George was because this is ridiculous. These people are tearing up our livelihood. You said Black Lives Matter. I said I'm sorry, this is such an unprofessional video. <laughs> I'm getting it out. Listen, brothers and sisters, this is a setup, all right? This is a false flag event, and it all started what, when, when, okay, well, a long time ago, of course, right from the garden. Um, there's been a battle for our souls going on, and there's definitely a bigger battle right now as we fight not against flesh and blood, but the principalities and powers of this earth and God has given us everything that we need to stand against the walls of the enemy are you using them are you soaking up the word of God faith comes from hearing hearing from the word um are you listening to that still small voice and being obedient to it and going forth and doing what you can to help the hopeless the helpless um doing whatever you can um, praying, loving one another, encouraging one another. This is what it's all about. But I just wanted to show you that this is not about this. Uh, you know, I'm going to repeat it again. I know I said it at the beginning of the video. Listen, y'all, it makes just so much sense. What person in the whole world, unless they were, never mind, um, would kneel on somebody's neck for eight minutes with cameras all over videotaping this, right? Thinking about it, y'all. It's so simple. Eight minutes? You know, George is on an island somewhere. He's a paid actor uh, enjoying his life, drinking pop, pina coladas or whatever. And I'm being sarcastic. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. But it's like what people will do for money. Like I said, go to, uh, if you're on my Facebook friend or whatever, it shows how much people, money people are making off of George Soros right now and willing to riot over all this. Stay away from it. Have nothing to do with it as far as participating. Um, and it even tells you how, to, how much money he's making and who's paying him, who's signing the checks even. It's not a joke, all right? This is serious. And righteous anger is okay, all right? Be angry and sin not. Uh, I am. But I'm angry about my brothers and sisters and the Lord getting hurt. Like I said, thank you, Jesus. I wasn't, I didn't even know about all this. Thank you, Jesus. I, I seem to be out at the right time. <laughs> I just give God the glory. Um... Taking authority in the name of Jesus over your children and, and things like this. Take it back. Take them back in Jesus' name. Now. Don't wait. Don't delay. You know, there's only one way to get saved. And that is by grace through faith, not of ourselves, least any man boast. Faith pleases God and faith is what he's looking for when he returns. Uh, faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. And he said... Clearly, in the scriptures, will I find faith when I return. Not what good works you have done or anything like this, all right? It has everything to do with the fact that, you know, in 1979 when I was saved, I was in, instantly indwelled with the Holy Spirit. I instantly had the Holy Spirit in me, and I was a new creation. The old man passed away, and all things became new. And, yeah. It's been a walk since then, but the past 10 years, oh my goodness, how amazing this has been. And the past couple months, how even more amazing this is, as we are getting closer and closer to home. A place that we long to see as we see things 
and the perplexity on earth, but the signs are in the sun and the moon and the stars, and they're everywhere right now as the Father has made such a beautiful display up there that you can't deny it. Wow. Right now, anyways, in Gemini, that was another statement I wanted to make. Gemini, twins, right? And Minnesota, known as the Twin Cities, and we know about the Twin Towers, 9-11. All right, so that's, that's another reason. And then the guy who spoke up, supposedly for George, uh, said that he was his twin brother. Okay, was this something just by chance? No, it's all by design. And all I can say is Jesus is coming. So please, I just wanted to share this. I do not know if I'm in trouble for sharing it or not. And I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And I pray that all of you that listen, um, hear with, the spirit, with your spiritual ears and see with your spiritual eyes that our King is coming. He is at the door. No coincidence I'm hearing drums, so far as other people are hearing the same thing. Uh, the, the animals are speaking to us. My goodness, this is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And we're seeing the Lord shaking America right now. As we know that this is Babylon as well. Because he loves us and he loves them all as well. He wants not one loss. He's shaking so that he can wake them and allowing us to get out there and plant seeds. So let's do it. In Jesus' name, this is Debbie from Texas. And I'm saying, peace out, Maranatha. Let's keep looking up. Our king is coming.